welcome back to Audit Zone. In today's video, we have a case of an overzealous cop detaining a former OSI IG US Air Force Special Agent for having FBI credentials. Due to those credentials, the man was accused of impersonating the police. Unfortunately, this agent seemed not to fully know his rights and how to exercise them when dealing with the police. As a result, he fell for the gimmick usually used by the police to interrogate people to the point they say or do things that can incriminate them. Within a few minutes, the policeman went from being a friendly cop to a man on a mission to find anything possible to get him in jail. How you doing, sir? Good. All right. What's up? Deputy Turner with the Sheriff's Office. The reason okay. I'm stopping you is your it, your plate's obstructed. Yeah. Whatever that thing's got, you got to take it off, okay? Okay. It's got to be visible within a certain distance. All right. Now, when you went to driving school and a cop yeah. pulls you over, what they tell you? Oh, you pull over when it's safe to do No, so. you pull over immediately. Okay? Let me tell you this. That, and, and, now, you pull over immediately. Sure. Um, because I don't know what you're doing inside this car. Sure, yeah. Hiding guns. You know what I mean? Yeah. Officer safety is number one. Sure. So pull over immediately if, sure. for whatever reason, I find it not safe. Yeah. I'll get on the PA and say, hey, turn over at whatever stop. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. when you keep rolling, it, it, it makes it go to from like just the routine deal yeah, to I like... Yeah, didn't want to stop right there in the road where there's nowhere to pull. Yeah, well, I initially turned turn on right when you were in front of that it, little it store. I could have sure, yeah. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? But you, but you were like way back there. I, I thought I didn't know if you were running your sirens for me or for... Well, and then even then, yeah. when you see sirens were going, what are you supposed to do? Still keep going or... Pull over so the cops sure, can go past yeah, you. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, no, I know we train together. You're yeah. the gang, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So who are you? Oh, I'm I guess I could... enough, yeah. This officer's claim about driving school lessons is wrong. In the U.S., if you're being pulled over by the police and you feel the area is unsafe to stop immediately, or if you have concerns that the vehicle is not a real police vehicle, you have the right to turn on your hazard lights and drive slowly and carefully below the posted speed limit until you find a safe, well-lighted, and populated place to stop. This is to ensure the safety of both you and the cop. After finishing his incorrect driving school lesson, this cop started interrogating the man by asking questions that could make him say or do things that could incriminate him. Let's check out how things escalated. Former NDOC and I used to work security at Harris. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a contractor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have insurance on this thing? My partner, huh? Do you have insurance on this thing? Yeah. Your partner or what? Now, my partner called me. I'm a contractor with Southwest Gas. Mm -hmm. So I got to go over there and, and get him logged into his computer. Okay. So I was kind of in a rush. Hey, you live where? Here in Carson City. Where at? Uh, uh, Imperial. 3330. I haven't stopped you before, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to, because you said, you know, but I, I can't, in my mind, I'm, I mean, no guns inside the car? Nah, no fun. Okay. That's what I'm more, nah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, X-ray 5, code 4. Did you get my 28? I copy X-ray 5, the 28th is going to be 8, Victor, Union, Tom. 670 California. So you just got the car, right? Uh, in November. Or, okay. Yeah, well, because you, you gave me this, that's why. Sure, I, yeah, it's whatever's in there. Is the insurance not in there? Like, if it's not, I got the mobile. Uh, no, well, I just, I don't yeah. see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but do that, man, because I don't, like I said, yeah, hey, you know what? When you're that far behind, though, that to me, I was like, all right, is this guy pulling me over? Or is he, what's going on? Yeah. So once I'm on there and I, and I ain't got nowhere to pull over, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to just pull over and stop up and hold up traffic like yeah. that. So. And at that point, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll make that but, call. If there's uh, too much traffic, yeah. we'll make that call for you. Yeah. Let me give this to my partner so you can run Check you out, we can get you going, okay? I'm good. Can you run him out for me though? Yeah. Can possibly. I'm on this side now, man. I don't want to get hit by a car, okay? Can you lower down this so I can talk to you? 
Okay. Yeah, have you ever gotten a ticket before or anything like that? Yeah, way back. Way back? Yeah. Okay. And no weapons on you? I mean, the car looks clean. Yeah, I don't think there's anything no in there. No okay. I'm trying to get my uh, insurance for you now. Okay. When the cop realized that this man couldn't keep his mouth shut and was even eager to answer more questions, he became determined to find something incriminating to use to arrest the man. Luckily for this cop, he finally got what he wanted. Let's check it out. What do you got right there up front? Hey, that's a sign. I'm, I contract. I do contract. Do contract. So, so some of the work I do requires uh, to have a siren. A siren? Yeah. So some of the, I, I contract them just about every street. So, okay. Like what kind of lighting does it have? Uh, it, it doesn't have the built-in lighting. It doesn't have the lighting built-in. Well, it's got, it's got lights up there. It's got, light, it's got red and blue. It's got red and blue. It's here on the back. Turn it on. No weapons on anything like that? Nah. Alright, I'm gonna take you out like this just to check. Okay, right. go and push that one for me. Right. Put that down for now, and then I'll right. it for you. So you're not a uh, like law enforcement, right? You're not a law enforcement officer? Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah, you a cop. No, no. Okay, so you said you work security, yeah. right? Okay. I'm a con I'm a security contractor. Copy. Whose car is it? Who? So I'm gonna put these on for now, okay? Because uh, wouldn't relax. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna take better. Yeah, I do contract work, so I have to have lights on this vehicle for some of the They shouldn't be that color. Yeah, they shouldn't be red and white, brother. Yeah, it depends on who your contractor is. You contract a long time. Which agency do you contract with? The various. Name, son. A C O J. So you have a contract. I work. Okay, so you have a government ID. I have a contract. Where's that? Where'd you get this? That's issued to you. Issued to you? Federal Bureau of okay. Investigation. The officer saw what looked like a siren device and questioned the man about it. The man, still thinking the cop was just being friendly, explained how he got the device because he was a contract special security agent. From that point, the seemingly friendly cop suddenly changed to a cop determined to put the man in jail. So what could this man have done to avoid this unpleasant encounter? Well, when the cop started questioning him, he should have initiated his Miranda rights as supported by the Fifth Amendment rights. He could have avoided this whole incident based on that. According to the Fifth Amendment, quote, no person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself. Based on this amendment, the Miranda rights support that during your encounter with law enforcement officers, quote, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney, and if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you prior to any questioning. Before law enforcement officers interrogate, detain, or arrest you, they're supposed to read the Miranda rights to you. If they don't, usually an attempt to make you incriminate yourself, you also have the right to initiate it yourself. To Federal Bureau okay. Investigation badge. So let me, I'm going to read you your rights too, okay? Because sure. you're you're handcuffed, you know what I mean? So I feel more yeah. comfortable that way. That's fine. So the other right to remain silent, anything, anything, anything you say can and will be used in the court of law. Yeah. If the right to talk to an attorney, have a present with you prior to any question, if you wish one. Sure. Uh, if you cannot afford one, well, one will be provided to you by the courts. Yeah. Okay, have your rights in mind, you want to talk to me? Let me see this thing over here. This is quite revealing. 
Everyone watching this video now should know that many of the bad cops you will encounter know your civil rights and are ready to violate them if you permit them. From that point onward, the cop started violating the Fourth Amendment rights of this man. The cop began searching the man's body and car without his permission. According to the Fourth Amendment, quote, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. The man didn't explicitly refuse to be searched as mandated by the Fourth Amendment right, and the cop went on to violate his right. Even though the cop would probably have searched and seized him and his vehicle, he could have used that against the officers in court if he eventually filed a lawsuit. More of the cop's colleagues also arrived at the scene and joined in violating his rights. The incident in this video occurred in Nevada. According to the lighting laws in Nevada on private vehicles, quote, flashing amber lights are strictly prohibited. And, quoting again, you may want to avoid green, blue, and red aftermarket lights and underglow so you don't get confused for an emergency vehicle. So, based on this, the cop had a reason to detain this man since his red and blue light strobed. However, let's recall that this man is actually a contract special security agent. He is a law enforcement agent and has the right to own those strobing lights. He even told the officer he could be hired as a security agent at any moment. Let's check how things unfolded. No guns, right? Yeah. Inside the car? Yeah. Okay. Who, because, like I said, man, too. Put money in. Okay. Put that back in until I put it in the bag, okay? So the reason you're in cuffs, okay, is per NRS, unless you're a sworn officer. I know in Nevada we buy Yeah, you're not allowed to have red and blues. Sure. Yeah. Right? Because then you sure. could easily impersonate I'm red. a police officer. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, that's the reason I have you in cuffs okay, okay? Right. you have this this is great sure you know what i mean so who issued this to you my former employer your former employer yeah. so you used to work for the fbi at I, one point i've contracted with the department of justice and the fbi and other here uh, in reno here in reno where's their office at or what uh, resident agency it's um off of uh it's next to wells fargo it's right by the traffic circle there. okay uh, i'm just throwing it out because i have no yeah, idea yeah, where, yeah. Where, where they're at Okay. You ever been arrested? No. Never been arrested? Not as an adult, no. Not as a, just as a juvenile? Yeah. What is this? Nevada State of Nevada, private investigator. Yeah. So I see, I mean, and if you're an investigator, sure. cool, yeah. but then you're also... I'm a contractor for Southwest Gas Corporation. For Southwest? So that's like that's your... That's here, yeah. That's your primary job? The, yeah, that's my part-time job, and I have my own uh, cybersecurity company. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is... That's where I was headed to right now, okay. to log my partner back into his computer because he got locked out. Okay. Yeah. And then this right here, this, did yeah, you that's work? A, that's a guard card, yeah, that's that's a Nevada, that's a PILB, Private Investigators Licensing Board, that's a, that's an issued guard card. Yeah. Yes, and this, I mean, you're allowed to, I, I mean, sure, you get yeah. this because you... Yeah. Private secure or yeah, yeah, private yeah. investigation. Maybe I think my wife's cheating on me. Sure. And I hire you, right? Yeah, yeah. Would that would that be what it be? Yeah. Like yeah. I can hire yeah, you sure, and be yeah. like, hey, yeah, yeah. go follow my wife or yeah. do whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, Is this, yeah, but you yeah. have to go through. No, no, no. I, I, I'm also no. I'm a cybersecurity researcher. Also, I don't have to do all of that. To hire me as a PI, I don't even need that. You can hire me as a hacker. So why did you get this? This is that's what I've worked previously. Yeah, yeah. And that's my guard card for currently. If I want to work as a guard, I'm licensed to do so. As a guard? As a, as a security officer or a private... Oh, member. like a guard. Okay. Sure, okay. yeah. With PILP. Yeah. Can you check this one, sir, too? Maybe that number hey, will come so, back uh, Since you got the badge, where's your creds at? Where's your federal creds at? I don't have federal creds because I'm not paying my credit. You have an FBI badge. Okay, I used to be a task force officer mm -hmm. with the FBI. Okay, which task force? Station? Yeah. Okay. All right. You ever work for them? <laughs> so you know LPP? No. Okay. Yeah. So when did you work for them? Well, I'm texting somebody right now. Okay. If you impersonate a federal officer, you're not even in control. Okay. Okay. And like I said, with the red and blues, 
<laughs> that alone right there, okay? Sure. That's what you're in. But, that, but that's not that's not an offense in and of itself to have red and blue yes, lights. Yes, it is. I don't want to show you the NRS. To actually run, you have to actually run those lights. No, you don't. They're in your vehicle, and I must destroy those. Right. Okay? And I'm going to pull up the NRS for you. I've went to a okay. police officer cat. I know what the NRS well, you is. You might again, but I went have to... Have they the updated room. the NRS? Let have they? Show you. Have they? Okay. Unless it's to my car. You see it? Sure. See the plates where it says that? Yeah. And then let's go on the side so you can check that out too. Yeah. What does it say on the side? It says Carson City Sheriff. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that, that... so that's but where I'm at, there, okay? There, there, there. Let me let's go over here that way and get a let me get a bag. So I can get your money in there and all that good stuff, okay? While we start this out. So that was issued to you, you say, right? That little FBI deal. You know, you didn't steal it or find it yeah. or no. And then that uh, the ID. Where'd you get that? Because that's not the department of. The, that, that's my, my. That was issued to me by my. That's issued to me by my employer. Yeah. That's not the Southwest one, but the other one. The other. That's issued by the state of Nevada. Did you? Where, where, can I go and get one of those too? Sure. Me? Yeah. With the necessary like, training. Can a private citizen go and get yeah, that? Yeah. What kind of training do you go you, to? Uh, you go to. You get a security guard job and you get your license and your employment. And then to upkeep that, whether you're. What's all this right here? Is this like a key it's to a get USB. the car running or no? Nah, it's a USB. Oh, USB deal. Hey. So, to get that, you get licensed with the security company, depending on whether you're armed or not. Then you know you qualify as as uh, you know per. Uh, yeah, your wallet's in the standard. car? Where'd you get your, yeah, right? Or yeah, you guys got my wallet. Okay. Yeah. The man continued to allow the cop to interrogate him, which made them further escalate the situation. The cop searched every part of the man's car to find incriminating items. He even found this guy's personal financial details, such as his crypto wallet details. This cop was so dumb that he did not recognize those details, thereby revealing them to the whole world. Any good crypto hacker could have used those details to empty the crypto wallet of this agent. In fact, a Twitter account named at CryptoFelon even made a joke of this cop's dumb revelation by posting it as, quote, new highly profitable MEV method. At the end of the day, the only thing this special agent did wrong was having an obscured car plate. Every other thing that happened was a violation of his constitutional rights as a U.S. citizen and special agent. So, that's all I have for you today. Know your rights and stay safe when dealing with the police. Let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.